how I'm rewiring my genetic code without spending any money. To be honest, without some context, rewriting your genetic code sounds expensive, scary, and like the premise of a Netflix series I just binge watch. But it's actually really simple to do. First, you need to know about a field of study called epigenetics. Epigenetics literally means above or on top of the genes, and it's how the study of individual genes can be activated or deactivated by life experiences. It shows you how to write your own biological story. Epigenetics supports the idea that our choices, lifestyle, how we view the world, and our meaning of life actually play a much more significant factor to our health than the genes that we've been given. While genes can predispose certain people to disease, it's actually gene expression or what genes are turned on or what genes are turned off. Those things are controlled by external factors outside of the genes. Researchers Stephen Cole from UCLA and Barbara Fredrickson from the University of Illinois have demonstrated that persons who exhibit high levels of eudaimonic well-being, you know, the kind of happiness that comes from having a broad sense of purpose and meaning, they have showed that eudaimonic happiness is associated with favorable gene expression that promotes health and longevity. So in line of their discovery, by having a broad sense of purpose and meaning in my life, I am rewriting my genetic code by activating favorable gene expression. And I got on this path thanks to a patient called Ishmael. This man knew that he was gonna die soon. He was a 43-year-old pancreatic cancer patient. One day, I was feeling pretty sorry for myself. Things looked great from the outside, but they were falling apart on the inside, behind the scenes. Can you relate? And Ishmael, he stopped me and he looked me in the eye and here's this terminal cancer patient saying, hey doc, how are you? That level of peace radiating from him had to be the same level of Buddhist monks and it hit me in the gut. Here I was, a relatively healthy and successful doctor feeling down because of personal problems, but this man who was staring death in the face, yet he floated around in a cloud of love, peace and joy. I couldn't help myself and I asked him how he could be in such a great mood and he told me this. He said, Doc, I don't live for myself. I have a choice each day of how I respond and I choose to spread love and share love. Wow. I felt his love so strongly and that really opened something up in me. That was the turning point that led me to cultivate a practice of optimism and gratitude, to focus on the positives, to rediscover how to play, how to connect. This quest also led me to start the Live Again Project, a fiscally sponsored nonprofit aimed to connect and transform the world through cancer stories. Thanks to Ishmael, I discovered a broad sense of purpose and meaning in life, and it's helped me become the person I wanted to be while rewriting my genetic code through my actions and intentions. Here's what you can do to start rewriting your genetic code today. Take five minutes and find something you enjoy or something that just lights you up and take those five minutes to deliberately enjoy something without reserve. Maybe get on the floor, play with a child, visit a pet shelter, adopt a kitten, look at my funny videos on YouTube until you're crying or laughing, or listen to a song that transports you to a happy place. You're more in control of your health and happiness than you realize. Step up and accept your power. You are health. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you enjoy the content there, Go check me out on Instagram and start following me for short, inspiring, and entertaining posts that I leave there. And if you have any questions on health that you would like answered, go ahead, leave them in the comment below and we'll do a video for you. Oh, one last thing, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, you are your best medicine. How I'm re- uh, re- white- uh, re- 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 How I'm- we ride. Yeah. <laughs> Can I? <laughs>